everyone welcome back to another video or if you're new here then welcome to my channel I'm Emily we are gonna be talking about the dry bar hair dryer I'm giving you guys a review I know you love my reviews I will be including timestamps on the screen right here in case you were just wondering about one part of the hair dryer but I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and you don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at emilyr.kosh for daily updates and to see me in my true natural state. Yep, no makeup, all that sort of stuff. First thing I want to mention is I actually found this at Winners. I was super shocked and I found it for $150. I got the whole entire dry bar blowout kit for $150. The dryer alone is $263 if you were to buy it off of the Sephora website in Canada. So I took this as like, yes, this is a steal. Plus I get a bunch of other stuff. First thing I want to talk about is how does the hair dryer work? I have the cool button right here on top and that is just giving you a shot of cold air and then you have this top button where you have three options. So the when you click it to the very top you get basically hot air and consistent hot air. When you click it to the middle you get consistent warm air and then when you bring it down to the bottom you get consistent cold air. Now you only have two options for the air flow speed. I don't know what else to call it. I, medium, off. It's very simple. It's not like super bougie but I do feel like it has the right amount of settings to really customize your hair dryer experience, your blow drying experience. I'm just gonna call this the technical section because while it's not super important, you might be comparing other machines. The first thing is that the cord itself for the hair dryer is nine feet long. I have it wrapped up because it's too long for me. I don't need that long of cord. And I find it sufficiently like plugs in right beside my bathroom sink and then I can still blow dry my hair. I will say though that the tongs on the actual hair dryer are very short compared to some of the other tongs I've seen on my other hair dryer. And it does pull out of the wall which is super annoying and I don't necessarily know if it's because I have the cord wrapped up or because it's just the tongs on here that connects to the electrical socket is not long enough. I don't really know. And of course it has like the reset and the test buttons on here as well. Like many other hair dryers, this uses ionic technology to stop frizz, lock in the healthy parts of your hair, and just to protect your hair. I feel like this is pretty standard even when you go to cheaper hair dryers. So if that's like your deciding factor between like bumping up your budget to get this, then I wouldn't really bump up your budget for that because there's other options on the market that are gonna be cheaper. Hair dryer has a 1,875 watt motor and that seems pretty standard for hair dryers when I was looking in the store. They range anywhere from like 1500 to I believe 1800 is like the highest one I saw. So like the 1875 is like a pretty normal range for a hair dryer. At Sephora, this is priced at $263. So I do consider this a high end hair dryer. Yes, it's not as expensive as like a Dyson, but it is in the same market as a GHD. I definitely will be judging this as a high-end hair dryer. The kit comes with two different sizes of heads. So you have a small one and then you have a big one. Right now I just have the small one on and that is for transitioning between different blowout parts of your hair, I guess. I'm not like a blowout 
master. I don't know what I'm doing. I just blow dry my hair normally as you'll see in like the video. Pretty sure that's like how most people blow dry their hair. The next part is the demo, the before and after. I want you guys to be able to see how my hair reacts to using this blow dryer, how long it takes, show you the level of frizz that happens when I don't use any product or I just simply blow dry my hair. This is gonna be the demo part for the hair dryer. I believe I have the small head on it. I'm not gonna be using the brush in it because that's just honestly not how I blow dry my hair. My hair is quite short, so I've actually been using this hair dryer for over a month and I've had like medium to long length hair. Now I have like super short hair, so I'm gonna put the timer on, on my phone to give you guys like an estimate on how long it takes me to blow dry short hair. And then when I see the number, I'll go off by how much I actually think that I spent blow drying my longer hair. I'm going to start and put on the timer and just see how how long it goes see this is what i mean if you have it like tangled up like this it unplugs itself I just stop the timer at five minutes and three seconds because it was done and then normally I do go in with the cold button and kind of just cool down like my hair so I'll do that wild without styling it without brushing this is my hair at the moment so I wouldn't really consider it like super frizzy there's definitely some volume I'm sure if you did it with like the brush and you properly did it you sectioned it off that it would look a lot different but I just I'm a mom I ain't got time for that five minutes is pretty good like I'm pretty impressed with that. I honestly think that maybe my longer hair was taking about 10 minutes because that was definitely really short to blow dry my hair. I do have fairly skinny hair and skinny. <laughs> my hair is so skinny. I do have fairly thin hair. So I just don't know if this would be honestly good for someone who has thick hair or curly hair so you'd have to put like the diffuser head on it if you had curly hair but yeah I just don't know if it's like powerful enough because it's mostly meant for like blowouts I don't know okay let's get to the review now let's talk about the quality of the airflow you feel like this specific hair dryer its blowing power isn't as great as some of the other blow dryers i use i have a sephora hair dryer i have a review on my channel i'll link it up above that personally for me blows way harder than this dry bar hair dryer and i don't know if it's because this is meant for specifically for blowouts or if it's just the hair dryer itself the next thing i want to talk about is the head interchanging it is quite hard to take off the head as you can see i was pulling like with all my might and it was very difficult so it kind of just snaps on to this interchangeable little like clicking thing and I do find it quite difficult to actually take it off. So if you're switching between heads to do different parts of your hair, I would debate about maybe going with another one or trying it out to see if maybe mine's just the finicky one. It is a heavier hair dryer. My arm definitely gets tired. Like I was blow drying my hair for five minutes and my arm was like getting super tired. So if you are a weakling or you don't like to have heavy hair dryers, this might not be the best. I'm gonna talk to you about the heat settings because I'm actually fairly impressed with the heat management of it. So I blow dry my hair on the very hottest of the temperatures and I don't honestly find that it gets too hot. I have other hair dryers that 
when they get to a certain temperature they start burning my scalp it's just too hot and I have to pause and then it takes me longer to blow dry my hair but not this one so I'm pretty happy about that I also like the cold function to kind of seal in that hair and close my follicle. I also want to mention that the hair dryer itself, including the tip, does not get hot, which I absolutely love because again, happens with some of my other less expensive hair dryers. You're probably wondering, is it worth it? Let me tell you, personally for me, because I bought it for $150, I would say yes, but if I had to pay like close to $300, I would save and invest my money in a Dyson, I would save and invest my money in something that's rated higher on the Sephora website like the GHD. Other thing I want to mention is that when we're reading through Sephora reviews and other reviews, some people had mentioned specifically the big one, but also especially with the travel sized one that after two years some of their machines stopped working some of them would only blow cold air some of them got really hot and overheated and then shut down so that's just something to consider that i don't know if this is like a long-term machine because i haven't actually had it for more than two years so I can't give you a review on that but for the people who have they have left reviews on Sephora and they were not happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer drop it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!